So, in this video we're going to look at two further problems of how we can form differential equations if we're given it in terms of words in context so we can convert this into mathematical notation. So the first one is quite a common type of example. It's about radioactive decay of particles. Typically this might be related to exponential decays and so on. Well, let's have a look for this problem. We're told in the decay of radioactive particles, the rate at which particles decay is proportional to the number of particles remaining. Write a differential equation for the rate of change of number of particles. So let's have a look at what the actual differential is then. We want to write a differential equation for the rate of change of the number of particles. So the thing that's going to change is our number of particles. So let's give that a nice letter N, capital N, typically for number. And it's a rate, so it's going to change with respect to time. So our differential is dN by dt. We then look to see whether it's equal to or proportional to, in this case, it's proportional to, so we'll put our proportional symbol in there for the time being. And it is a radioactive decay. If it's a decay, it means it's a decrease. If it's a decrease, we need our minus sign there, and it is proportional to the number of particles remaining. Well, we've just said that our number of particles is capital N, so it's proportional to minus m, and we don't like the proportionality symbol, so therefore we can say that dn by dt is really equal to minus kn. So we've replaced the proportionality symbol with the equal to and this proportionality constant, and then we just need to define our variables we've used them. So n is our number of particles, t the time and k because we have the minus there is a positive proportionality constant okay so that's an example for our radioactive decay part b is a little bit more complicated again because we are given the head of a snowman of radius r centimetres loses volume by evaporation at a rate proportional to its surface area. Assuming the head is spherical and the volume of a sphere is 4 over 3 pi r cubed and the surface area is 4 pi r squared, write down a differential equation for the rate of change of radius of the snowman's head. So we've got a few different things going on. Now we will look at the differential equation, but actually let's, like the others, pick out the first thing it's actually telling us to, because we've got the word proportional to in there. So we're told that the head of a snowman of radius r centimetres loses volume by evaporation at a rate proportional to its surface area. So what's actually changing here? Well, it's losing volume, so the volume's going to change. So we have dv and it is losing it at a rate and again rate means with respect to time so you have dv by dt proportionality constant if it's proportional to and it's losing volume if it's losing it's a decrease so we can say it's proportional to a minus for the decrease and it's proportional to the surface area so let's give that a capital s for surface area well we don't like that in that form so let's make this into an equal to and have it as minus k s we'll come to define the variables shortly now we actually have an expression for the surface area we're told the surface area is 4 pi r squared so actually we can substitute that in and say that dv by dt is equal to minus k times 4 pi r squared. So that's our first expression. We're also given that the volume of the sphere, so the volume of the sphere is 4 over 3 pi r cubed. We'll come back to that shortly. 
let's look at what they actually want us to get an expression for. We want a differential equation for the rate of change of the radius. So the thing that's changing is our radius. So capital R, dr, dr, and it's a rate, so it's dr by dt. So we're going to need to use a chain rule here to find this. To start with, we want dr in the numerator. And not that we've got it yet, but we do have that the volume is in terms of r. So we can work out an expression for dv by dr and then do 1 over that. So let's have dr by dv. And we've just found an expression for dv by dt. So we can multiply that by dv by dt. The dv's will cancel, which will leave us by, with dr by dt, which is what we're looking for. So let's just differentiate v then. So dv by dr. Bring the power to the front. So you're left with 4 pi r, drop the power by 1, 4 pi r squared. So we can substitute into our expression. Well, we want dr by dv, so we want 1 over this. 1 over 4 pi r squared. And we want to multiply that by dv by dt, which is minus k times 4 pi r squared. And the great thing about this question is, the 4 pi r squareds are going to cancel, which is just going to leave you with minus k. So therefore, dr by dt is equal to minus k. So the last thing that we want to do, we've got our solution, is we just want to define the variables that we've used. So we've got v, the volume, T, the time, S, the surface area, R is already defined in the question, and finally we want our K, which is going to be our positive, proportionality constant. Again, that is positive because we've dealt with the negative part by having a minus sign there for the loss of volume earlier in the question.